Hi guys, so for today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Apple Watch to look at your stocks. So once you have the watch app downloaded on your phone, you're going to scroll down and find the Robinhood app. And it's pretty easy from there. You're just going to select that and make sure it says show app on Apple Watch. That's going to make sure that when once you open your Apple Watch, you're going to see it there when you open up your apps. So now when you get to the watch, the first thing you do is you're going to click that top right button there. And that's going to bring up your apps on your watch. And then you're going to scroll down and find the Robinhood app. So once you find the Robinhood app, you're going to click the bottom right hand button and uh, the Robinhood app is going to pop up and you're going to say keep and dock. And the reason why you're going to do that is because once you hit the bottom right button again, it's always going to be right there and it's going to be the first thing that pops up. So after that, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like, the kind of the face of it here. So it just basically shows you a list of your stocks. The ones that are in red are the ones that were negative for the day, the ones that are uh, green are positive for the day. And that's just what it looks like right off the bat. Once you click into one of the stocks, we're going to click into American Eagle here. Basically, this is where you can buy and sell the stocks, and then it shows a little bit about each company. So it shows you how many shares you have and just you know some of the most important numbers there. So now we're actually going to show you how to buy a stock. And to do this, uh, you know, if you want one share, uh, you can just leave it there. But if you want more than one, then the little scroll knob on the side of the watch is going to be able to go up and down and uh, adjust how many shares you want. And so it says press firmly on the screen to trade and when I first tried doing this it didn't work at all and I was really confused at why it didn't work and so that's why you kind of see me pressing in a bunch of different areas and trying to figure out you know why it didn't work. And I eventually realized that it was probably because I didn't have enough money to purchase that stock. Uh, so what you're going to see me do is I'm going to go out of this and then I'm actually going to try to buy a share of Frontier stock, which was a $2 stock at the time. And, uh, and then you can see that it actually works. So we're going to go down to Frontier, hit that, and I'm going to show you guys actually how to buy a share. So, and on this one, I'm still trying to figure out why it's not working. I realize you have to press the screen pretty hard and actually hold it for about a good second until it actually works. So here in just a moment, I figured it out and uh, it'll let me buy a share. So I tried to scroll down to see what that would do. Okay, and then it works. So yeah, press basically firmly down on there for at least a second. I'm gonna hit cancel on this first one and then I'm gonna go back into it and actually show you guys what it looks like. So we're gonna hit confirm on this next one and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after that. So it's just confirming that I wanted that one share and then it goes through this little thing right here and then it'll say, you know, you've purchased a uh, share frontier and it just shows you the price that you bought it at and then you just hit done. So after that, it just goes back to the main frontier page and then I'll go back to the beginning of the app. And yeah, that's it you guys. So for this, I mean, I, I don't usually like trading stocks on my phone, but it's good to just be able to look over and see what my stocks are doing really quick. So that's kind of why I like having this on my watch. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment and please subscribe and like the video. That helps me out a lot and I will talk to you guys later.